hi patreon i promised that i would be doing the golden oldies um this this month okay and in july as well i'll be centering on sports people and on entertainers so please write down your uh, your um request because I do take requests seriously on Patreon and I do them. So write down your requests and write down, um, um, you know, who you would like to hear about. But we're in the golden oldies era. Yes, we are. I was moved by spirit. I was moved by the veil. I was just moved. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do the golden oldies. Uh, your requests. Mine is Diana Ross. I decided to do Diana Ross because her spirit, her soul, her essence has been speaking to me for the last month or so and I had no idea why. But just as I was getting ready to do a reading on Diana Ross, there it was. There it was. There it was. Diana Ross. I believe she's ill. I believe she is ill. She's either um, going to be, you know, not she's not leaving us yet, but her journey has begun. Okay, she's ill. So the one thing I remember about J Diana Ross, of course, is her song, I'm coming. You know that one? Yeah. Okay, I remember that song. And I remember she had a lot of hits, but I was very young. Yes, yes, I used to be young. I was very young. And I really wasn't a fan of Diana Ross and never was. And when they were saying she's beautiful, she's dead, all I saw was not a good looking lady in front of me okay so i didn't pay her much attention and then when michael jackson died and named her a supposed guardian for his kids if his mother passed that's when i set up and I said hello she must be a really good mom and then listening to her kids and watching her kids talk about their mother and then when she married that white dude and then she divorced that white dude and she said he just wanted to go camping and be in the bushes and she likes luxury and she didn't suffer so much you know so you know didn't work so hard so as to live an in luxurious life in the bushes rock climbing so she had to leave him yeah I was like okay now I'm really paying attention to this good lady and then I promptly forgot about her again but she is starting off golden oldies and she and and she is my pick make your pick people make your pick I'm gonna go through them and I am gonna honor them Oh, my ancestors will honor, you know they'll say yay yeah, yeah, nay yay yeah, they yeah, but they take these ones very seriously so we're in Diana Ross's mode boom 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 diana ross and today is kind of like a chill day for me i really wanted to be chill but here i am doing miss diana so i am going to i have a picture in front of me and i am going to um read miss diana ross she's very ill she's very ill cancer like cancer like she's performing right now because i went to look at at some like diana ross i was looking for her picture and i got this i got she's performing right now she's singing and she's saying to me yes diana she's very difficult to get diana She's like a whiff of air, like not a not a big air, like a little sliver of air. She was never meant to be famous. This one. Okay, I'm 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 gonna call her. My ancestors always thought the most interesting. Diana. 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 And this, now I get it. I get why she is air to me. Why I just felt a sliver of air okay she floated into my plate she like not floated, like did, 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 like whoo, a silver light she's a silver the air is silver 
So anyway, she's gathering herself. She's putting herself together. She says, I've been busy, honey. I've been busy. <laughs> She's putting herself together into a form I can accept or see or understand, right? But she came in as a sliver of it. She says, yes, I'm bigger than God himself. So you don't believe in God? I do. I just don't like him. He's oppressive. Makes us go through things. I've been doing this for eons. I've been doing it for eons. Coming and going. Coming and going. I've been black. I've been white. I've been Nordic. I have been coy. I have done this so many, many, many times. Baby girl. So many times. And one thing I've learned is love. That's what it is. It's about love. It's about love. How much love can you get? And how much love can you give? I've also learned that loving a man is not love. It's never unconditional. It's never unconditional. Therefore, where I am and where we will all go. It's not love, people. It's not love. Don't fool yourselves. Don't fool yourselves. Do not fool yourselves. It's not love. God won't take it. God will tell you, oops, nope, that wasn't love. So I can't be bothered. I love, but I know I'm not going to get any marks for it. And I'm tired of this journey always here i'm about to leave i told you i'm about to leave yes i am i'm just going to go in my sleep with dignity and my pride still intact but not my asshole <laughs> i'm wearing diapers baby because i took it too much <laughs> from the back Buggered to kingdom come from the back, from the back, from the back. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and now I'm wearing diapers. Now I'm wearing diapers, so, you know, it is what it is. A body must be used. A body must age out. But do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me? I see you. She is really a sparkling light. I've loved my children. From lifetime to lifetime, I've learned. I used to be the bitter, cruel, twisted mother. And I have learned to love my children. Because you know, that is the love that God accepts. You're right. He's a motherfucker. She pulls out a cigarette, you know, those cigarettes, like, souls that smoke never cease to amaze me. Okay. Pulls out a cigarette. Thanks for the energy, honey, and the purity. The purity. I must be pure. I must be pure. But how do you do it, though? I ask the tobacco to come to me and to cleanse me. I can't meet my Lord when I'm dirty. I can't. So I'm cleansing myself. The energy, honey, remember that when it's your time. Remember that because you're younger than me. When it's your time. I don't mean flesh. She doesn't mean flesh. She means in soul, in soul age, right? She says, thank you. She says, yes, I'm cleansing myself. Tobacco, come and cleanse this child of God. <laughs> She's laughing. Well, Diana, we are here to discuss your life. She says, to spy, you mean, to gossip. I love that. Gives me more energy. I love it. It is wonderful. To spy. 
Mm. To really get to know me. Mm. Why am I gay? <laughs> I think she needs the soul. No, no. Even in, in the face, you know, I worked with what I could get, but I'm ugly. I worked with what I could get. I'm ugly. The first second a person meets me, the, in that second, they say, she's ugly. And then they look for the beauty and then they find it because they ha I have to be beautiful. They have to make me beautiful because, you know, I'm a star. I am a star. Stars are not ugly. You're ugly. Stars are not ugly. I'm a star. I had a hard childhood, honey. Hard childhood. Hard adulthood. I only found pleasure and happiness after I hit 60. After I hit 60, I breathed in. I said, ooh, life ain't so bad. Now I could enjoy the fruits of my labor. Now I could relax. Now I could do what I wanted. I'm not a good girlfriend. You know, I'm not your friend. I'm gonna sleep with your man. I'm gonna let him bugger me. <laughs> Turn me around. I'm not your friend. Only my children are my friends. My children are my heart. I don't care about the grandchildren. They mean nothing to me. I care about just my children. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diana. Okay. So, Diana, show me your life. Diana. She says, nice name, Diana. It wasn't my name, but it works. Diana Ross is real name. Diana Ross is real name. It wasn't Diana, I tell you. I wasn't born a Diana, but Diane Ernestine L. Ross. No girl! Not my name. I wasn't born a Diana. I wasn't born Diana. I wasn't born a Diana. We made all that for show business. So what's your name? The Ross is my name. So what was your Phoebe? Phoebe. I was Phoebe. But show business thought otherwise. In those days, you could mess with anything. You could mess with birth birth records you could mess with anything you could change anything in those days life was so simple for us artists for such creativity we could be creative with ourselves i was named diana by a boy he looked at me and he said oh you are a diana but i couldn't be a diana we had to be something else and then change to diana but you know that hunting goddess you know because i was a hunter so you know he named me from all that mythology and stuff and we went with it okay miss diana show me your life miss diana it's been a long life a fulfilling life i'm proud of what i did and then again i'm always proud of every life that i go through so miss diana Like I said, she's packing her bags and she is slow, you know, slowly making her way out. She has made a lot of achievements. She's not even in front of me. She's over here. Okay. I don't know how many kids she has, but she's surrounded by her children. One of her children has taken up the slack of not only taking care of her, but taking care of the others as well. It's that one. Tracy, she's now like the matriarch. You know, Tracy gives out a gay vibe on this board. She's giving out the vibe of being gay. Okay. Anyway, um, she she has turned her back on the world. Even though she is performing and she's still living and walking, we must always remember that we kind of leave earlier than we think we're going to leave. That's what she's done here. Miss Diana is making her way out.
Now, I know nothing about Diana. That's, that's, that's the problem right here. Sometimes I should do these things live. Okay. So, I think she was with Barry Gordy. I think. That motherfucker. Okay. I think. This is a very sexual, sexual energy. She is very sexual. She was very free with her sexuality and people are attracted to her music and her things and her thing because she has the sexual energy down pat. She says, yes, she's sexy. That's what got her everywhere. People could see that she was sexy. She radiates, she sparkles sexuality. She said, ain't nothing else. And I enjoy the sport. I enjoyed the sport from when I first began. It's 12 years of age. And I continued to enjoy it. I am never going to say I was abused. No, no, no. The touch, that touch, when it touched me, that touch, those fingers inside you going like this. I am so glad this is on Patreon. Those fingers <laughs> inside you like this. There was nothing else. Stars exploded. My universe opened up and i set up and i said i am going to be famous <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yes child yes everything exploded and i knew it what who i was going to be I knew I was going to be famous. I found my song. I hit that note. I hit that note. Ooh, it came out of me from deep inside me. And look at it, honey. It has made me so much money. <laughs> money Woo, it has made me so much money honey it is true when they say sex is money this is true it has made me so much money the men i have enjoyed Ooh. i have enjoyed them all it's a pity my children are frigid they're not very sexual they're not at all they cannot understand the sensuality of the act. It is one of God's greatest acts. They cannot understand it. They cannot. But I have had a delicious life because of it. When you give a man the good thing, he is good to you. During the... When she was in the band with those people, I don't, I don't remember. She just said during the, and she didn't give it to me, and I don't remember the band with those people. Who were they? The ones she was. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let me carry on. You would know, maybe because I'm losing her because she's difficult to get hold of by talking. She says when she was in the band with those other t girls, okay, she put out a lot. Okay, she put out a lot for her own pleasure, not for ambition. For this is surprising, for her own pleasure. She said she just wanted to taste that. Oh, yes, I wanted to taste it. I see a man walking through and he's hunky and he's got power. I just want to taste it. I did not expect it to propel me to where it propelled me. I just wanted to taste it. I want to know what it felt like. I want to touch, smell, suck. Have it in all places. That's why I'm wearing diapers. <laughs> I 
just wanted it for the sake of it and then they started calling me names because women are not yet free with themselves like that they were prudes they didn't want it i respected that i did and i went after it and you know it came with some perks i became the favorite i was pushed to the front i became powerful you know i never fought with anyone over that because they knew i was game they knew i was game they knew it I was just saying I haven't had a raw cheek, so I guess that's why my ancestor said read Diana Ross. Okay, so Miss Diana, okay, she's really on her last leg. If you want, if your dream is to see Diana Ross performing, make it to one of her performances, okay, because she's really on her last leg. Say she's tired. The shells, that's all they are singing to me right now. So I'd rather channel her because the shells are telling me that she is on her last leg. She's on her last leg. She's almost out the door. Not a moment too soon, she says. <laughs> okay, Miss Diana. Well, what's the best? best part of your life says besides the sex yes what is the best part of your life Diana? the best part of your life what's the best part of your life she's gonna miss eating oranges and fruit she's gonna miss it she says she's gonna miss the sun she's truly going to miss the sun she says the sun beating down on me every time i leave i miss the sun she's gonna miss the sun she's gonna miss the fruit she loved eating fruit she she loved it she's gonna miss eating fruit she's gonna miss her children because she won't remember them anymore she says she comes back quickly she is reincarnated quickly 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 she comes back quickly so she's gonna miss that she said people are adorable though they are adorable i will miss them in this form i will miss them in this form she says whatever you've heard about me is true when it's about a man <laughs> I had no scruples. I will take your husband. I will take your boyfriend. I will take your son. I have no scruples when it comes to that. Because I must experience. I must enjoy. They would probably call you a sex addict. Now, she says, possibly. And they'll probably say it was because of having been introduced to the sex too early they will probably say that whatever i'm throwing on this board i'm getting the same message the end of her existence there's a really straight line here the end of her existence no more right now she's making the final cycle of her life this is the final cycle and then she's gone like no matter what i'm doing and so again i'm not like i want to ask her about I was going to ask her about Barry Gordy. She said he was her favorite and her best. She says he, he truly was, but he had no time for me. What do you mean? I have needs. I had needs and the needs take time. And he did not have the time to spend on me. And that is why the relationship did not work. He didn't have time to spend on me. Her worst husband was the white one. That's what she's saying. He was the white, you know. I should never have gone there. Nope. 
I should never have, but he dazzled me with his technique. However, he was cold, he was rude, he was demanding, and he was racist. Don't just be with a white man thinking that he won't be racist towards you. Don't be with a white man thinking that because he's with you and you're sleeping with him, he's, he's going to change everything he thinks about black people and how he sees black people. That doesn't change, honey. That doesn't change. And now you've got to ask yourself, what kind of a black woman are you? Are you the proud black woman or the woman just that the black woman who actually believes in what he is saying deep down even though you are screaming about black power i wasn't the type that believed my people are amazing i tell my girls this i tell my sons this they don't hear me but my people are amazing we are an amazing people with the greatest spirit, the greatest joy, the greatest happiness. I was not going to allow him to look down on me and to say what he wanted to say and how he wanted to say it. So we had to go our separate ways. He was very cold, very cold, very calculating. He was detrimental to my career, detrimental to my legacy. He made me hate myself and you can't be with someone who makes you hate themselves. So no, no, worst husband, worst husband. After that, I decided to be single and to play hanky-panky in silence, in solitude. I still got mine. I'm tired. I am exhausted. I am extremely exhausted. Unlike all what you all want to think, I never really was into the drug scene. I wasn't into the drug scene. I wasn't into the, you know, that debauchery of harming your body. I was honestly about keeping my body in the best form possible because you got played that sex game with a dragged up doped up saggy body i was about that i led a holistic healthy lifestyle and i took very good care of myself i understood who i was and i recreated myself she used skin lightning I'm just letting you guys know she used skin lightning she's not as light as she actually comes out she's still on it but you know she's not as light right so she is saying that she made the best of who she was okay but she's tired she's exhausted she said hey i came into this world i danced you will be amazed at the people i danced with I danced with Prince Charles. I danced, just danced. You'll be amazed at the men who fell in my bed. You'll be amazed. A girl does not kiss and tell, because I danced, I danced to tell us. A girl does not kiss and tell, but you will be amazed. I got joy. What is, Ms. Ross, what is, the one thing that you have learned that you could tell us about life. Accepting your lot and going and after it, enhancing it with everything you have. Accept your lot, enhance it and go after it with everything you have. Everything. Don't push yourself where you're not wanted. Don't try to open doors that are closed to you. Don't look at all the horrible things that have happened to you all at once because if you do, they will crush you. Keep walking into your tomorrow 
work very very hard it stops you from having stupid thoughts and dreams accept your lot on that note thank you so much and it's the end of diana ross people please your requests and i hope you're all buying your tickets to houston oh oils i am going to be closing the sale of oils and salt um by friday because i'm i'll be preparing to come to houston and i won't be able to send out the products i don't get why people are not buying the souls at all have you guys seen my glow my glow is coming from that i asked my editors where is my glow coming from my glow but i made a lot of air air salts because they also go with water water and 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 air go together so yeah okay so i will be closing shop next week friday so buy your oils today buy your oils tomorrow buy your oils people because next week friday i'm closing etsy and i'll only reopen it in august thank you people Mwah.